Well, hey everybody, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. Appreciate you guys stopping by. We are going to be uh, headed out into the garden here in just a quick second. I thought I'd spend a little time with the birds this morning. Look at this girl, this girl right here. She's got food on both sides of the fence and can't make up her mind which side of the fence she wants to be on. I think she wants to be over there with the ducks. <laughs> They're being fed over here. Being fed over here. And she can't make up her mind what side she wants to be on. But we're going to uh, <laughs> head up to the garden today. Try to clean out the watermelon garden or what's left of the watermelon garden. We didn't get any watermelons this year. It was just a bust year. And I learned a lot this year. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to get into it, but the watermelons were the, probably one of my worst watermelon gardens ever. I just didn't add anything back to the soil after growing a great watermelon uh, garden last year. Uh, but that's okay. <laughs> it was, I got some learning out of it. But we're going to go and clean up that watermelon patch, feed a lot of that stuff back to the pigs, uh, compost a lot of it. We're about to start really hammering on this compost pile. Um, for the fact we have the two gardens that we're going to clean up compost all those weeds which uh, one of the gardens is just a total mess uh, but we're going to clean both of those up i have one two three four five uh, hoop style pins to clean out uh, where we've raised all our quail all summer and ducks we're going to compost all that uh, i have this huge chicken coop we need to compost it's uh everything's getting a little thick around here that summer was long <laughs> so uh we're coming in the fall, it's time to start cleaning some of this junk up. We're gonna compost everything, but today we're just gonna work in the garden, get these watermelons cleaned out. Uh, ought to be a lot of fun, get to play on the tractor a little bit. That's always one of my favorite things. So stick around guys, we're gonna go out here into the watermelon garden and have some fun with the pigs. All right, as you can see, it's not looking too bad. Everything's pretty much done died off except for the weeds. You can see that big patch of weeds there. I'm gonna to try to get most of these weeds pulled up. Uh, because we have this uh, weed barrier fabric. <laughs> that sounds funny, don't you? Put weed barrier fabric down and look at all those weeds. Now, they went, we had a bunch of spots where the weed fabric had tore. This is our second year using this stuff. Uh, it works great. It's just a lot of work. A lot of work rolling it out. A lot of work putting it up. And then when you first roll it out, uh, before the garden season gets going really strong and you got things to hold it down, you have wind that blows it, tears it. It's uh, kind of a pain in the, in the tail, but other than that, it works pretty good. Uh, we have to put a lot of rocks on it and stuff. It's a lot of work, but, uh, but it sure helps grow a good garden. So what we're gonna do is try to get most of these weeds and stuff pulled up that I can right down to the okra, because our fabric stops at the okra. I didn't, I didn't grow the okra and all that in the fabric. It stops right at the okra. So we're gonna get all these weeds cleaned out, hopefully, before I gotta go to work. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll get this rolled up today. I'm almost positive I won't for the fact I gotta go to work here in a couple hours. But we're gonna get this up and feed a lot of it back to these guys because they need some greenery. As you can tell, there's not much greenery in here and they absolutely love eating all this stuff. So enough talking, let's get with it.
just about <laughs> got it all. I am gonna fall out if I keep on. All I had left was that little teeny patch right there and I said I can get that tomorrow. I went and just pulled everything and put them in little piles. I can drive the tractor up to it, load it, compost it, and wrap that up. The watermelons, we may just start throwing them off to the side, just start shoving them off, to, and tomorrow just keep throwing some to the pigs. But dang, I just filled the whole <laughs> back side of the pen up with watermelons and, and all the weeds. They just love that stuff. They'll sit here in here and eat all this stuff through the rest of the day. But dang, guys, I am super tired. It is hot. I've had to stop twice. Uh, it's just so hot, so humid. I'll be honest with you, I done got so out of shape. It's sad. <laughs> so I need to start getting out here more every day. But I just got to watch it uh, because you can't get that heat exhaustion. And I felt bad there a couple of times. I went in the house and drank a bunch of water, came back out and played in the water hose. I figured the pigs might want some nice cool water. I'll squirt them down here in a minute, but I got to get ready to go to work. But dang, that was a lot of fun. I'm glad to see that get wrapped up. It's just a mess. Glad to see that get wrapped up. We're going to pull that, uh, that weed fabric up i may not use that next year i think it'd be easier just to plow them weeds under and just keep up with the weeds through the year i don't know it's a lot of work with that tarp i mean look at this garden we still got you don't even hardly see it except for right here this whole garden is just covered so i'm gonna wait till travis is home and destiny maybe we can all get out here we may wait till this winter <laughs> and just let this stay there till the winter time it is just smoking hot and it's not just the heat it's this humidity it's unbearable but yeah guys we'll take tomorrow oh finally a breeze now that it's over with we got some clouds rolling in there might be one of them evening showers of course now that i'm done but i'll get this wrapped up tomorrow i'll come out here with a tractor and i think i'm going to video this too go ahead and video the, the final cleanup and start on my next project just roll that over into the next video i got some pretty cool ideas i think for my next few videos. I'm really getting lazy here lately with this this new schedule I got and this, this heat. I mean, I, I sleep all day, wake up, and it's just when you open the door, that heat hits you. You just really don't want to get out here and do a lot. But guys, I appreciate y'all checking out our videos. Check this out. I got all those watermelons and still 25 pounds of fruit waiting. I still, I'm sort of saving that. Sort of saving that for tomorrow or the next day. But I get that every day from the fruit stand. So we got tons of stuff to feed these pigs. These jokers are so spoiled. I absolutely just love having pigs. But guys, I just want to say again, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, click that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. I hope you stick around for some more of these videos tomorrow. Hopefully we'll do a cleanup. Uh, I want to start on this muscadine vineyard. We got to start getting the tea posts in. Let me show you guys. We got to start getting the T-post in. I put all those corner posts right there. And at the other end, you can't see them down there, but at the other end, if we put all our uh, corner posts in early in the spring. Now we just got to run our T-post and our wire. And that way this fall and winter, we could start planting plants and fill in this whole entire pasture with muscadine grapes. So that is my goal, hopefully for tomorrow's video. I'm going to try to get out here and start pounding some T-posts. If not tomorrow, the next day, but definitely these T-posts have got to start going in. Uh, fall is right around the corner. I keep telling myself that. Guys, <laughs> love y'all to death. Appreciate it again. See y'all on the next video.